everybody. Um, today we're gonna learn a song called Oh Only a Fool for You by DJ Face Mask. This one is a request from a student of mine called Regan. What's up Regan? Um, I hadn't heard this song before, I just learnt it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The easiest way to play it, I think, the way that I would play it is with a capo on the first fret. This is gonna eliminate a bunch of bar chords. Otherwise, if there's no capo, then they're all gonna be bar chords. Um, so this way it's eliminated a lot of bar chords and there's just gonna be one bar chord, which is gonna be a B minor. And I'll explain explain how to play that um, if you don't know. But first of all, we're gonna start with um, <clears throat> what I've called the chorus. And this bit starts at about, I think it's about 28 seconds through the song. Before that, there's like a sort of quiet intro that's in a different key. So at the 28 second mark, that's where we're going to start playing. So the first chord, cap it on one, is G. The next chord is E minor. The next chord is B minor. Now if you don't know how to play a B minor or a bar chord, we're going to take your first finger, bar all the strings on the second fret. And this is, when I say second fret, I mean second fret from the capo. So it's actually the third fret on the guitar. And then you're going to play an A minor shape after the bar. So that means your first, fin uh, your, your first finger is barring everything. Your second finger is on the third fret of the B string. Your third finger is on the fourth fret of the D string. And your little finger is on the fourth fret of the G string. And remember when I say third fret and fourth fret, I mean third fret and fourth fret from the capo. So the third fret would actually be the fourth fret of the guitar. It's going to be very confusing. Anyway, that's how you play out B minor. And then the fourth chord is an A. The strum pattern you can use for an easy strum pattern, one that I use all the time, is down, down, up, up, down. So that would be... And also to make it a bit more rhythmical, you can put a in between, in the middle of the bars. So you'd go down, down, up, slap, up, down. Right, and I think it does that three times for the chorus, and then it goes into another section, which we're gonna call the verse. And the chords for the verse are B minor, D, G, and E minor. And the rhythm for this section is a little bit different. It kind of goes. So that's basically just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up on each chord. make it sound a bit more rhythm rhythmical by making some of those downs mutes. So it's like... And by mutes, I mean you just put your palm on the strings as you strum. Like that. So you can sort of still hear the chord, but it also makes a percussive sound. And your up strums are just normal up strums. So if I do it slowly... He actually stays on E minor for about an extra three bars. And then back to the chorus. And that's all there is to the song. I've also done a picking part. Um, I've, I've done quite a simplified version of it. And this picking part goes over the chorus. So it comes in at that 28 second part.
right, so that would sound really cool if you had two guitarists, one could do the chords, one could do the picking, or if you have a loop pedal, you could loop yourself playing the chords and then you could play the picking over the top. Um, but yeah, that's the song. Good luck learning it. Um, hopefully it's not too hard and it sounds great. Okay, see you next time.